Hi, in this lecture, I'm going to discuss you with switch case statements. What is switch case and why we require to use switch cases in programming? Switch case will help you to make a proper decision which program is going to be executed in proper way. Straight away, you can switch your program to which case you want to execute perfectly. So, in very simple terms, I will explain you about the switch case. Using this switch case statements, we have in a break, a keyword is there. A break keyword will help you to, from there it will be terminate the program and it will be continue with the next what you want to execute. And similarly, there is an a called a default, default case. There is an, if uh, the case which you are passing a value, which is not matching the default statement like default case it will be goes and it will execute and it will runs show you the output how smart it is let's see one by one like uh, seeing that uh, switch cases how it is going to be executed like see here the basic syntax inverse i'll go to assign here int like an integer value i'm taking as a value of a day like a four i'm taking day like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like a day wise um, weekly timetables I am going to preparing. Which day it is going to be like a matching as a based on case, it is going to be execute that particular lines or that particular uh, table or statements. What you are written in this particular case, it will be goes and it will execute. And these lines of statements only will, will be given to you a partic particular perfection of output. Let's see here, like uh, the simple switch case. The name itself it is there switch case the syntax would be like like uh, see here switch keyword it's a reserved keyword and uh, what is the what we are going to switching like a day only we are going to switch in. so I have initiated a day variable here okay so the day like uh, open and end braces it will be like a uh, commence that like uh, this block of uh, switch case block yeah this block of code will be go to the case wise so save this and yeah here i am writing something like case 1 and i am hitting something like case 1 i am writing and colon what is the case 1 i am writing here like uh, simply i can say that monday monday yeah and uh, cw one more statement i'll write here uh, time table to be follow to assessments or anything if you would like to see here there you can you need to follow over there on every every case what we will see here a keyword called break and break in, ends with the terminator so it is terminated and go with the case 2 colon same writing console that right line and uh, Yesterday and uh, here CW uh, timetable to be follow same text or else if any holiday you want to put you can put there and break yep terminate similarly case three yeah colon I'm taking a copy of these three lines to make a, like make sense of a saving of our time. Wednesday day and see how simple it is case 4 okay and paste first day and uh, the next one is seven cases would be there I hope so in uh, our uh, uh, week calendar paste over here Similar way the program is going to be right. Case 6. Yep. And Thursday, Friday, and uh, Saturday. So, how many cases are there? 1, 2, 3, and Sunday is there. Yeah, one more case we have to define, which is called like case over here, case 7. 
So now it is Sunday. Okay. All right. Yeah. Here, if I am passing a day, which day I am going to passing means it will be like a, this variable is going to be inserted here in a switch. So this switch, what it will do based on the value of this four, it directly will be switched to the case. Which case it is the value is matching. This case is matching to the four. So these program lines are going to be executed without disturbing and without verifying of all these are after four. It is there no these things. It won't be touched. See, we'll check this uh, by running this. We'll check it as an output. What we are seeing by default it is in a four. Also, you can check with the read line by entering of the user input. Yeah. Once I am executing this statement, uh, what we are getting? Yes. Thursday we are getting time table to be followed. See how sweet it is. This is. This, this much of simple we are going to write la, like a switch case statements. This is the syn syntax based we have a by default we, we have seen like a switch and within the parenthesis we have used some variable. It might be like dynamic variable or you can pass from where to here if you want to map you can. And based on the matching of this case automatically switch will automatically uh, map the where you are writing the case and this particular if it is matched these lines only it will be executed. If I am spec specifying like uh, my day is 7, how, why because I will enjoy more and more on Sundays. So execute here and uh, 7 will be like see here Sunday timetable to be followed. How simple it is. I have an query. If I am passing this switch cases and uh, the break statement see uh, like uh, if I am passing like 7 and uh, I have reached here and uh, like it is printed and uh, these lines are printed and uh, the, the cursor will be terminated from here from the switch. Okay, once the request is done, it will be terminates. In if else statements means one uh, if statement is true or false, true or false, it will be verified one by one, one by one, one by one like that. In, in this scenario, the compiler will not go anywhere. Straight away, this will be jump start to where we are giving the case and it will be execute and compile these lines and it will terminate. Break will help you to terminate. So it will be goes on this way. And one more thing we have discussed like a default keyword. What is this keyword and why it will be there? This case numbers 1, 2, 7 it is there. If I am given 8, what will happen? Unknown number or unknown case value I am transmitted by default like a unknownly. What happens then? It will throw you an error. So to avoid such type of errors, what we can say here, very simple. See here, the keyword I have discussed with you is there, no? It's a default. So the default CW and write, like a console of write line, um, there is a no matching day. There is a no matching day or no, there is a no matching value. Also, we can specify over here. All right. And uh, once it is done, also here also, we can make the that's it. See now, if I execute 8, what happens? If the case is there, then it will automatically execute the case. If it is not there, it will be go to by default and there is a no matching date. If I am given something else other than 8, something else, also if it is not matching with the case, by default it will goes to execute this default program and it will throw you. Or is there any information if you want to, you want to throw to the users or a proper way? Yes, you can prepare here. I hope you enjoyed a very big having this real world example. We'll sit on next lecture. Thank you.